CataractCoach.com. We've got a cataract surgery and silicon oil removal using a posterior capsular axis to access the vitreous cavity. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Willie Can from Malaysia. And you can see this patient has a white cataract. The patient had a previous pars plane of vitrectomy for tractional diabetic retinal detachment, which was repaired successfully, and silicon oil was placed inside the eye. Of course, we've sped up the video so we can get to the good stuff and show you all the important parts of the surgery. So gentle hydrodissection being done. There's the nucleus. Nice good capsular rexus there, about a 5 millimeter rexus. And then this nucleus will be removed. And when doing the cataract part like this, the surgery is pretty routine. Now we're sure this patient did not have any damage to the poster capsule during the vitrectomy, so there's no worry there. And this nucleus is well supported. Even though it's a post vitrectomy eye, this nucleus is easily chopped and it's well supported by all the silicon oil in the vitreous cavity. Now, if you're doing this part here and you see silicon oil coming up into the anterior chamber, that can mean there's either a capsule violation or probably more commonly some weakness in the zonular support and you can have some of the silicon oil go up through that. So the nucleus is removed very easily. That looks great. And you can see there's a lot of silicon oil. There's a lot of pressure. So more viscoelastic being placed inside the eye here. And again, look at that big silicon oil fill in the vitreous cavity. So you can also certainly do a pars plane incision in order to do that, but here a posterior caps rectus is a very elegant solution. So using a cytotoma to poke the posterior capsule, and now using the forceps to create a nice capsular axis. So now there's a posterior capsular axis of about three and a half, maybe four millimeters in diameter. Certainly make it smaller than the anterior capsular axis. Now it's time to remove that silicon oil. Now remember, the oil has a very thick viscosity. It's oil. And so you want to have good infusion. So there's an anterior chamber maintainer, which is going to be placed in the eye. That has plenty of infusion. Set that infusion pressure high, or a bottle height if you're using that very high. And you can put in a device to aspirate. And so here's a larger bore aspiration needle going inside there. And go slowly. Don't collapse the eye. So look at the difference in the diameter of the two tubes. The suction one's much larger for the silicon oil, and the infusion one, which is that anterior chamber maintainer, is smaller. So you'll have to take your time and be gentle here so that you don't outstrip the infusion. And so remember also that the vitreous cavity is much larger than the anterior chamber of the eye, and it's going to take a little bit more time. So being patient here is key. Now. Once all the silicon oil is removed from the eye, you can do a little bit more washout to ensure that it's all gone. In terms of lens calculations, well, since you're removing the silicon oil, that's not going to play much of a role. So you can do your calculations in a routine or normal way. There's the end of the removal of this big silicon oil bubble. And then again, you can further wash it out here with that anterior chain maintainer just to ensure that there's complete removal of the oil droplets. Now, sometimes it's hard to remove absolutely 100% of the oil droplets, and you may only remove like 99 plus percent. So I'd encourage you to put in a lens that is acrylic. And in this case, you're going to put that acrylic lens inside the eye, and that's going to be a very good choice here. Again, if you were going to leave silicon oil in the eye, obviously you wouldn't create the posterior caps rexus, and you'd have to account for the difference in the eye oil power by adding quite a few diopters. Probably be about four or more diopters to the eye oil power in an eye with silicon oil still inside. So I want to thank Willie Can for a beautiful video. Thank you for sending that over. And I encourage you guys, if you have an interesting case, we want to learn from you. You can go to cataractcoach.com, click on the links, and it'll tell you how you can submit your video.